right, GK, we heard about your organization, Real right. Life. We heard about what you're doing as far as entrepreneurship and how it's helping young people and teaching them education through entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Right? And we heard about the impact that it has personally and, 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 and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So now I want to hear uh, what the young people in your program mm -hmm. had to say about your program. What did you hear them say? What did they tell you? And how impactful did they say that, in, that your program was on them? Okay. So the funny thing about this question is, you know, sometimes people tend to make up stuff. <laughs> um, and while I'm, it, it's easy for me to tell you, well, they thought it was great and all that wonderful stuff. Yep. I think what I should do is try, because some of them did send uh, testimonials. All right. So let me see if I can quickly find one Look out, that um, we can use. I, I mean, I can't say the name of the person, okay. but we could just, you know, read one out. It says, uh, during the program, I learned a great amount. It served as a way to open up my imagination and give life to an amazing idea. It stimulated my imagination to create innovation and laid out the blueprints with all the necessary steps I need to take in order to bring my idea to life. The program created in me the ambition to keep moving forward and continue in the search for all the necessary knowledge that will help me to create innovation and solve a problem. The networking skills learned will also be very useful, as well as all of the new people I got to meet. Their stories and insights were, and still are, a great inspiration to me. Right now, I'm just trying to keep acquiring as much knowledge and wisdom as possible in order to be absolutely prepared when launching myself out there. So this is, this and there were several other, you know, um, testimonials or responses because one of the things we try to do is, like you asked, get feedback from the students so that we know how to better serve them. Um, and, you know, um, without us taking the, all the credit, I want to say, I think, you know, to a large extent we were able to not just empower, but encourage and most importantly change mindsets, open up mindsets to, of these young people to start to think about uh, different ways that they can monetize skill sets um, or ideas um, in changing their lives and that of their community. So for that I'm, I'm very grateful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kavon Isaacs, uh, he is the co-founder of Free Life. <laughs> Life as well and this guy's an inspiration to me as well so we, I'm gonna try and get him in just so you all know in, this, in, in these conversations. Joining us, poof, here yeah, yeah, yeah. is uh, Kavon Isaacs, he's the co-founder of Free Life as well. Uh, he's complimented us on doing the film and how we, the last question I want to ask these entrepreneurs, these influencers, these impactors, these disruptors, as the term is called for Harlem, uh, is this question where how are we as adults, professionals and entrepreneurs failing our youth and what can we do to fix it? Question, how are we failing our youth and what can we do to fix it? Whatever your thoughts are. Yeah, I guess I guess one way we are feeling our youth as professionals, I guess, is we get so wrapped up in our professions and our degrees that we forget to actually level with the youth. Um, yes, they look up to us, but I, I feel at a certain point they they can't they can't meet us on that level because they're below us, right? Or may we may even see them as you know below a certain level. Um, I think when we're able to level with the students, get them, and when I say level with the students, is actually like, come or uh, actually meet them at a, meet them at a point. We need to find mutual, mutual grounds where they could understand us. Um, well, I think we as professionals need to take more time to understand where they're from. I think we, we may, as professionals, we may get wrapped up in all of our wisdom. <laughs> Pretty much the point is, I think we need to actually level with the youth. I think we need to find that common ground, figure out that common ground where they can be able to, you know, they're not scared to, to open up to us and we're not scared to let them in. Or we're not, not scared, but I would say we're not, we're cognizant of letting them in. Let me add to what you're saying, right? I think, I think Paul, the problem is this. We're not adapting as fast as the generations are. Right. Right. So, I for agree. instance, when we talk about uh, employment, right, we, we spend so much money investing in 
job readiness and career development as opposed to entrepreneurship, right? If you look at if you look at you know current trends, um, uh, in fact, it's estimated that by the end of this decade, you would have more mobile workers or freelancers than fixed workers, right? And that shows you the 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 changing um, um, atmosphere, or whatever. Um, of the global economy, period, right? So this is what's going on. We have parents that worked, you know, jobs for 30, 40, 50 years, you know, and retired with with or without a pension, right? Um, and they're hoping, yeah, and they're hoping that we, for them, that was success, right? So for them, that's all they knew, right? You go to school, you get a good education, come out you get a good job and that's success god bless your soul for us on the other hand it's completely different because right now we need multiple source, sources of income to survive i mean for some people to survive for others you know to just be whatever we're so there, there are too many distractions i would say there are too many passions that we've learned to indulge in um, that we're now learning also how to monetize, right? So you see someone who, um, let's say, designs, loves games, video games, right? Goes to school, learns how to design them. But besides designing them, loves to, say, build something on the, on the side or whatever, or blog on the side, right? So he's able to juggle his time to efficiently handle these three different things which our parents were not necessarily able to do for us that's success right your blog starts to bring in money you have 20 million views or whatever google sends you a check from youtube right so there are different sources that there, there, there's so many opportunities now to make money that we're not teaching our young people how to use because we're stuck in the you know the old way. Exactly. Go the to school, old find way. One job. Exactly. And if you Work if you're not five. if you're not able to do that, then there's something wrong with you. Or that right. success is not there. Right? So I think we need to learn to adapt with the changing times. Right. In technology is completely changing the way we live. Period. Period. Right? Um, and until we're able to catch up to that, we would keep having the problem based on what you're talking about you know we not meeting the young people right. where right. they are uh, the other thing is we have too many systems that have actually held us back that are so <coughs> designed to hold certain people back right right and that may be another discussion I guess <laughs> that may be <laughs> but since you're asking how we feel <laughs> right so let's leave that for another discussion right. um, the, 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 the other topic one topic number two <laughs> the other one probably would be too much talk and no action that's when our problem big problem huge problem yeah. so every February we got ourselves together panel discussions and da 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 and blah 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 all everything we do for Black History Month right. I'm not just black in February and black every every day pretty much right um, so we do all this talk sometimes just for you know public show whatever um, we do all these marches when we feel like they have killed another Trayvon um, they, we have a lot of leaders who do a lot of the talking for us in fact um, I hate to use this word but there are many of them that have been termed as coons and you, whatever the other word was or uh, is right so it's it's those are part of the problems we have where people talk 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 everyone has an opinion but no one is doing anything about it right um, and I could give you several examples but let me just keep it there before I turn your stuff into some <laughs> controversial you know um, nah, man, that's not a problem oh, you we're sure? going to do that in part two we'll do that right. in part two okay. I, I agree with you. both of your opinions is very good and part of the ways I think we can relate to the young people is by being real with them I think by being honest with them, I think that's how we reach them at that level. You know what I mean? Like when you said, there are other things out here that will make this take very controversial, which we know. <laughs> uh, but that's exactly what the young people need. 
Because who is the con? Let's ask ourselves that question as it relates to society, because it's a part of this conversation that we have. Hopefully, it doesn't get too dark. But who are we offending when we talk about the truth and the facts and what's holding them back? Who are the people who are going to be offended or view this as controversial? It's not going to be young people. Mm. But we need to get them to listen to it. Don't I, and I feel they'll listen to it when we start talking truth because they'll right. be like, yeah, I can, yeah, that's right. But we won't be so-called acting as those so-called coons trying to, right. you understand what I'm saying? So that's a good topic, thank you. So reaching, Kavan, reaching them on their level. Reaching them on their level. Right. And she can't. He kind of embellished on what I said. Everything, yeah. <laughs> like, everything. Is there any, like right now, you talk about, you said we do a lot of talking and we don't do a lot of action work. Right? Mm-hmm. It's February, it's black history month. I'm black every day. Yeah. So what, if a young person is watching this right now, a high school, be a grammar school, high school, whatever school, or whatever, and they need it, what could you give them right now in that situation that they're in? Kavon as well. What's what's tangible? What action step that you can give them right now that's small enough that they can do right now um, as a resource from your experience that you think will help them? One, I know that's a big question, but like one action step that they can look at. Oh, I can do that. Oh, I can go. If your action step was I can go to the library and get this book, and then I'll be on my way. You know what I mean? What one action, tangible step that you all can give these young people that have to do in this, they can do right now to get them on the way towards, you know, uh, succeeding on the right track, the right path towards fulfilling their purpose or something. Hmm. I know that's a deep question. Sorry, bro. Uh, I guess what immediately comes to my head is uh, make every effort to expand your horizons or break out of the everyday that you deal with. Um, I think I think a lot of us, maybe a, a lot of youth, they have blinders on or they're just used to one thing, you know, in their, you know, it may be, it may, yeah, they may be living in boxes and maybe because of it's how you were raised. It's it could be in your environment, it could be your living conditions, whatever it may be. I, I would say make every effort to expand your horizons to educate yourself on what's going on outside of your immediate situation. I think that may open you up to different passions or you may find another passion, I'm saying, or or you know, you can find new experiences and that may help you tap into or, or find your actual purpose. Um so yeah. She actually like that. Um I, just, I, I, I mean, the one word that stands out to me is do, right? But then the question is, do what? <laughs> and that's where it becomes a little bit more complicated. Um, the one thing that you know from every whatever I do, I tell people to start a business, right? Um, whether you know what it is or not, start something. Um, and this, I'm going to say this, and many people will back to differ and disagree with me but I'm beginning to feel like when people tell you well you know business plan and this 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 those become reasons for procrastination just start something Our forefathers did not have business plans they discovered an idea an opportunity to capitalize on it business plan came about later whatever um, so just do something figure out that this like we talked about there's so many opportunities to make money these days even if it's just YouTube videos right do something do it right do it well do it legally make sure it's legal <laughs> legally make sure it's legal <laughs> extremely important um, just do something, do do something right. That's that's what I would say. And we can expand on this in another. Yes, we will you know, have, um, I will be back with these brothers, yeah, by but, GK, Kavon. Thank you very much. I will be you. back with these brothers when it's lighter, when we can have more of a conversation. <laughs> yeah, and, hopefully you can see me. Yeah, <laughs> you can't see us now without smiling. Uh, but what what we need to do? We're going to have more conversations just like this. I told you all in the first. Uh, the YouTube channel. I said it, it, some of the topics are going to be controversial. Some choice words may be met, but you can guarantee that we're going to be hitting you with the truth. And when our job is not to offend, we don't want to offend anybody. But our job is to speak truth to power. I'll be happy to offend. <laughs> some of my colleagues will be more than happy to offend. But our job is to get the information out to you yeah, and get it out to you fun. honestly. So be ready. We're going to have another part to this discussion when it's lighter, like I said before. So stay tuned for that one because it's going to be great. Kavon, thank you so much for taking.
taking the time out for this man and sharing with the young people and just the public in general yeah. your thoughts on how we can help these young people. Thank you. GK, thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule, man, thank to you. be here. The same thing, man. I appreciate y'all, your inspiration to me.